Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, the Bitchu channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. While I have your attention, I'd like to ask that if you like what I'm doing, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would appreciate your support via my subscribe star, my PayPal tip jar, my merch stores on Teespring, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of these in my description box. Well, what do you say? I mean... What do you even say? <laughs> the Democrats have managed to shoot themselves in the foot again. Actually, no, you know what? It's worse than that. It's now like watching this, the Black Knight scene from Monty Python's The Holy Grail. Only the Democrats are ripping off their own appendages. This time, those dimwits bet the farm on a phone call. As usual, they didn't wait to actually hear about it. They just assumed, as they always do, that this was going to be the damning proof that Trump had done something impeachable. So, here's the situation. In 2006, Ukrainian President General Viktor Shokin was investigating corruption surrounding Bur Burisma Holdings, which was a natural gas company. Now, this investigation identified Hunter Biden, the son of then Vice President Joe Biden, as the recipient of $50,000 per month from that company. One should also note that said Hunter Biden had just been kicked out of the U.S. Navy for using cocaine. <laughs> Vice President Biden then demanded that the prosecutor on the case be fired. Biden said that if the prosecutor wasn't fired, the U.S. would, get, would not give the Ukraine some already agreed upon loan guarantees. And said loan guarantees were for about a billion dollars. So essentially, Biden was telling Ukraine, stop looking into my kid or you won't get a billion bucks from us. Biden has even bragged about this in public and on video. So, hey, what the heck? Let's just watch the video, shall we? Um, I remember going over convincing our team, our <coughs> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev, and, uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion-dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had. They were walking out to press conference. Said, "Nah." I said, "I'm not going to. We're not going to give you the billion dollars." They said, "You have no authority. You're not the president." The president said, "I said, call him." <laughs> I said, "I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars." I said, "You're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here." And I think it was what six hours. I looked. I said, "I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money." Well, son of a bitch, <laughs> got fired, and they put in place someone who was. Okay, so you got that, right? Vice President Joe Biden, you got his coke-snorting son out of a jam using a billion dollars of your money. That actually happened. There is no question about it. So, after a new Ukrainian president was elected, President Trump made a congratulatory phone call. Now, this sort of thing happens all the time. Presidents converse with other world leaders off the record and sometimes discuss various matters of importance to both countries. Well, a whistleblower recently said that Trump did something wrong during that call, that he asked the Ukrainian president to look into Joe Biden's son and that there would be something in it for Ukraine if they did it. This whistleblower wasn't present in the room at the time of the call. This whistleblower just heard this from someone. Okay, that makes this whistleblower and whatever they said complete hearsay. You don't pay attention to hearsay. I mean, I could say that you frack pigs, but that wouldn't make it true. And just as with Russian collusion, the Democrats once again bet the farm on something before having seen any evidence. And then, Less than 24 hours <laughs> after Speaker Pelosi committed to an impeachment investigation based on this whistleblower's hearsay, Trump released the transcript of the call. 
the pertinent part of the call and the only part that references Biden and his son reads as follows. The other thing, there's a lot of talk about Biden's son, that Biden stopped the prosecution, and a lot of people want to find out about that. So whatever you can do with the attorney general would be great. Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution, so if you can look into it, it sounds pretty horrible to me. Well, that's it. That's what the Democrats bet the farm on this time. There was no guarantee of anything. All Trump said was that Ukraine should look into it. He didn't promise anybody anything in return. So to steal a phrase from my old buddy Marshall Presnell, because he wrote this this morning, quote, there's nothing criminal or even wrong in a moral, ethical, or legal sense about that. There is only one thing that the Democrats have actually accomplished with this, and that's to damage the United States standing internationally. Now again, stealing from my old buddy Marshall Presnell, who wrote this this morning. This political BS has done some very serious damage to us. Right now, every world leader knows that they can no longer have a private frank conversation with our president without risking that it will be leaked and used as political football. This kerfuffle has hurt our country immeasurably. Well, Marshall is right. So, how long is this going to go on, Speaker Pelosi? I mean, how long are you going to chop off limbs by betting on ridiculous claims that you have no evidence for? I mean, this is even getting tiring for me. And I'm a masochist who follows politics pretty closely. And what would the show i rather have to? Hell, the whole reason this show came out and took so long from when the Democrats actually did this again was because I was just trying to figure out what the hell I was going to say. Now, the average person who isn't a masochist has probably checked out of this mess a long time ago. I'm certain that they came to the correct conclusion that the Democrats are a bunch of hateful, vindictive, spiteful, desperate fools who shouldn't have access to the reins of power. Speaker Pelosi, you have handed Trump a 2020 election victory on a silver platter. You have almost certainly lost the House. You will be handing over your gavel to a Republican in 2021. And the Democrats will probably also lose state and local seats as well. Frankly, just stick a fork in the Democratic Party. They are done. And it's all of their own doing. That's all that I have to say about that. I'd love to keep the conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you for watching. That is all the time that we have today for this episode of the highly acclaimed, world-renowned Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. What a bunch of idiots. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.